Being in a hot tub is fantastic. Being in a hot tub when it's cold out is maybe even better. But getting out of a hot tub when it's cold and having to use a cold towel to dry yourself off as you head inside is absolutely terrible. This is my friend Eric and he has a hot tub that he lets me and some other friends use whenever we feel like it pretty much, which is really fantastic of him. But we've all run into the point where we're leaving your wonderful hot tub and we grab our towels and they've been like sitting on that hook over there or like over the edge of this back here. It's terrible, yeah, like frozen. I'm pretty sure we've had times where they were actually frozen. And I hate being cold. I thought that was terrible. So today, we're gonna be checking out how we built this thing right here. And this thing right here is a towel warmer designed to make it so when you get out of the hot tub into the cold air, you can grab a nice hot towel to dry off with and run inside instead of a freezing cold on the hook towel. So let's take a look at the process we went through to build a towel warmer. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut the base. And we're gonna build the frame on the base and then add the rest of the box onto that frame. So we wanted to start by determining the size that base should be. And I came out here and I measured the space that we have and measuring how much space a large towel takes up on the bar. We're gonna start out with the base board being 21 inches by 35 inches. We're gonna make that out of something fairly sturdy so that we can build everything else onto it. Now, although this box shouldn't end up being very heavy, we do wanna make sure that the base can hold whatever we put onto it. So we've got this scrap piece of board that, Eric, how long have you had this in your garage? Uh, like eight years. Eight years of sitting, waiting to be used for a project, and finally it is reaching its destiny. Now, if you have paid attention to some of my builds in the past, you know that my motto is measure nuts, cut thrice. But this is a project for someone else's house, so we're gonna do some actual measuring and trying to get it right. You're picky about that? Ah, he's picky about that. Your nuts go square. The whole thing is going to be resting on this wooden beam and the gravel. Obviously we want it a little bit more level than it is if you just lay it down. So we are going to add some feet on the bottom of this. On the gravel side it's going to be a little bit higher to raise the board up. And on the wood side it's just going to be maybe just the thickness of the rubber feet that we have to give it something to rest on that's not wood on wood, especially if the wood is wet. Just some rubber feet that'll, that'll raise it up. But yeah, we'll support it more on the gravel side to get this whole board level. These are the rubber feet that we're going to be attaching to the board. And we're just gonna screw these right into the bottom. It's designed to have a post going to like this. We're actually probably gonna be using them, what I think is upside down. We're just gonna screw this right into the board. We're gonna leave just the tiniest eighth inch border on this side, and on this side we're gonna leave about an inch so that as we build our frame on the other side of this board, we'll be able to screw into it kind of right on the corner. All right, with our feet on the bottom, we can now take some measurements of what it takes to get this board nice and level. So I'll, uh, I'll do some leveling, you do some measuring. We're looking about two inches on the dot. Three inches over here. All right, so we've got a discrepancy in the gravel. So we can bring the gravel up and make the gravel as level as possible and then put them both at two inches. Do we want to add a little more gravel to level it out? Yeah. This is one of those steps that hopefully doesn't matter, but why not anyway? To determine our height, we have got back our towel on our dowel and we're gonna be having our heating element come in at the bottom of the box. So we want to leave space, a little bit of space above the towel, the full length of a large towel folded over and space at the bottom for the heated air to come in and just a little bit of extra space so we're not like blasting directly and so the towel isn't like in front of it because we want the air to go in and rise up through the towel. We have our six inch vent tubing here. We're gonna give ourselves, because we want that maybe a, an inch off the bottom and then an inch or two until the towels and then an inch or so above the top of the towel. So what are we looking at? About 44? About about 44 inches tall. It's wonderful. Fill the box on top of it.
It's perfect for the other side. Huzzah! All right, with the masonite on the sides, this is actually surprisingly sturdy. So we may not need as many more supports as we were originally thinking. We've got three sides on. We are gonna wait to put the fourth one on because we've got some half inch insulation foam that's gonna go on the inside of the box. And it seems like it'll just be easier to reach in and measure and cut and everything before we put that fourth side on. Additionally, I've got these four pieces cut, which are going to be the frame for the lid. That's gonna be the same idea, a frame with a piece of masonite, that's gonna be the lid. And we also are going to be delivering the heat into this box via a six inch aluminum duct. So we need to cut a six inch hole into the side of the masonite that the duct will fit into. Hey look, six inch duct. To know where exactly drill the hole, to cut the hole into the side of the masonite, I'm going to attach our ducting onto this fan. Because our duct is like exactly the same size as this, I can stretch out the aluminum a little bit and get it around the edges, but to really hold it on, I've got some aluminum tape. It's metal tape that's designed for duct work, and it's good for high temperatures. Like it says, it's good for up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't think this little fan on the outside is supposed to get anywhere near that. So I do think that should hold it on pretty well. Just doing a rough cut right now. It's not gonna end up being this long. Ha ha! We're amazing at building things! So that is how we built the towel heater. Now I do feel like legally I should give a disclaimer that I can't claim this is something that you should do for safety reasons. We've tried to make it as safe as we can. Like the heater is not blowing directly into the box. We've got it ducted, but it is still a heater blowing indirectly on cloth. And even though we put a cover over it, 
Like it is still technically near water. So I'm just saying, I'm not gonna tell you to build one of these for legal reasons, but I am glad that we built one for here. That sounds like a good way to phrase that, right? Yeah. He's not a lawyer, so he can't confirm that, but we like it. We have a test towel that has been sitting out of the heater box and we can get a thermometer reading of both that towel and the towels in the heater. Let's see how they did. We're getting a heat reading on the towels of over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That is over 100 degrees warmer than the towel that was left sitting out. That is quite a lot. There you go, how I built a towel warmer box to make getting out of a hot tub way more pleasant. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. And of course, a very special thank you shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon. We could not do this without you. If you're interested in joining that Patreon, the link is down in the description. We'll see you next time. Once again, we have our towel on our dowel.